Hey guys, it's me, Lego Boy here, coming to you, coming to you with maybe, maybe this is my first actual set review. I'm not sure, but yeah, sorry about this whole deal with Doctor Who week and stuff that I had to stop because of some issues. But yeah, here's the set, and if you can tell, it's the Back to the Future like a Kuzo set. So let's actually get right in, the diving it. Let's move little old me here. Right in the construction manual. It's a let me adjust something here. Okay, it's a nice thick construction manual. Like, just listen to this. Bump the camera. I don't know how well you could hear that. It's actually a pretty cool manual. It has this nice black color of for the text, but in the front, there's actually some bio on the films and the DeLorean itself. So yeah, it's a really thick manual. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail with this or the box here. Here, let me see, it sounds weird. Actually pick up the box, pick up the camera for my box. So here it is, the Lego Back to the Future set. You have a nice picture action. A bit on the side, I love this part. It's Lego Retour vs. Le Futur. I don't know what that is. And here's it from all three different movies. Some of the printed detail. Yep. But I would probably say an interesting thing about this box. One second, let me fix this. Is that well, this is the way it opens, right? Oop. I don't know how well you can see that. It's like this. It's not like the normal Lego tear open box. It's a. Yeah. You can pretty much understand that. So let's dive right into the set. Starting with the minifigures. Alright, guys. So here are the minifigures. I'm sorry about my lighting. It's not that great because I'm using. A regular lamp and a desk lamp. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. But Doc Brown over here looks like he's dying or something because he's so glowy. Because all the white on him. But to start off with the minifigures, I guess we'll just go ahead and do... That kind of helps. We'll just go ahead and do Mr. Marty McFly first. So he comes with a purple skateboard. I mean, it's just your normal... Room, room skateboard. Let's move you in here. But... Start off with him. He has... Pretty nice detail on them. I don't know how well you can see that. There we go. The face does look like Michael. Stupid camera. The face does look like Michael J. Fox quite a bit. For, you know, Lego head. Has a normal brown hair piece. And this detail. I find funny. I didn't realize how many layers Marty was wearing. It looks like he's... But the detail of this is funny. It has his jean jacket with his life preserver. Then his dress shirt and a t-shirt. I guess maybe in the 80s it was really cold. <laughs> but yeah, pretty good detailing on that. Pretty spot on. And if you notice on his head, it's double sided. This is kind of... This is kind of his... Yo, Doc, you bought a time machine out of DeLorean type deal. But then when you turn it around, it's like, you call me a chicken. And here we have the main attraction himself, Mr. Dr. Emmett Brown. He has this all-white suit with his radiation symbol. Sadly, he didn't come with the whole little helmet detail thing that he had in that one scene. Or... Actually, probably, am I the only one who thought it would have been cooler if they came with a suit for Marty? But anyway, alright, so the face looks pretty good. Has another double sided face. It's probably his Great Scott type deal. His hair is just a normal white colored. I call it Joker hair because that's where I know it from. Now, his detail on his body, if you actually pay attention really closely, I'm going to have to go in here deep. See if I can pick up. On that, there we go. You see nice print detailing of his Hawaiian shirt and, and his white t-shirt. His little, there, that's actually better. 
I don't know what that is. I mean, it's also a clip of maybe a handkerchief. Chief in a pin. Then, actually, I have a stopwatch that has all zeros on it. There we go. That's perfect. Whoa, okay. Hello, Mr. Blurry. So, yeah, that's it for Dr. Emmett Brown, other than the fact that he wears a lot of white. Now onto the car itself. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? The thing is, see, a lot of people are mad about this build, but I actually quite like it. So, obviously, it's a DeLorean. It looks pretty show movie accurate. You actually have a out of time California license plate. That's a printed piece. There's no stickers in this set what's all. It's all printed pieces. Um, yeah. Sorry, my Marty just went flying for some reason. Functions wise it does sort of a lot. I know I'm not done with details, but the wheels slip down for some future thing. Get it back to the future. Ha 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 has these nice pipes on the side like it does in the movie. Front, from the front, actually does look like, sorry, from the front actually does look like a Lego DeLorean, like Back to the Future or not. Um, you can get some quite cool poses with this thing. I don't know why I said poses. Um, well, you can adjust these whatever way. I, because you attach them in there on these studs, so... The way I did it was attach the corners of these corners. I've seen some people do it like this, which I think just uh, looks really weird. Or if I've also seen people attach them to these sides, these studs right here, and place them like that, which just looks... Actually, that looks kind of cool. But I prefer it like this. It just looks a whole lot cooler. And the doors are actually cool. They can actually open up like that. And I'll get into the detail in a minute on the inside. But these doors, um, they close pretty nicely. I've seen some people's break off easily, but mine don't do that. Um, there's also this, I say that as it just breaks. Um, there's also this hinge right here that helps you kind of angle it to fit it on that same. Same with the other door. Now to get into the in sorry. Now to get into the inside detail. So after opening up the tart Yes, the TARDIS. The DeLorean. God, I'm gonna get so much hate now. After opening up the DeLorean, you can see automatically that I'm gonna remove this because it's quite easy to put in and out. It's the flux capacitor. And actually has text that says shield eyes from light. Disconnect capacitor drive before opening. It's actually pretty cool. This is printed too. No, nothing else has stickers. Now, a lot of questions you may have about this is, this can only see one minifigure actually pegged in and not being loose around. I know that kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? It's made of Lego bricks. From the back here, you have... Well, from the back. The single, you have the lever right here, a steering wheel. But you have these two... Thermon thermon thermometers or whatever they're called. You have two of those and after removing this around you may see I'm gonna zoom in so I don't get really blurry here. I'll try to clear it out. Kind of see it. It's pretty much a um it's pretty much the time teller majigger that where you've been, where you have been, where you are type deal. But actually, the date on it, it's wrong. He went from 1985 to 1955, and that one says 1958. Yeah, those are all the inside features. And so now we'll go on to its accessories. So, for the accessories, there are a lot. Well, first, because you may know, this can turn into all three movie DeLoreans. So, you get these red wheels for the third movie. This buildable, I don't quite know what to call it, engine, I guess, from the third movie. The, when they're back in the west, and I'll show you how to do that. Well, not how to build it, because that would be way too long. I'll show you how to put it on. These clear pieces for when the car is flying. And, actually, there's still more. This, the, the Mr. Energy Savior from the second movie. And the second movie's license plate. I'll go into more details about those later. They also come with two brick separators. 
Not just, mine came with two, so maybe they were meant to just come with one, and they're just an error. And, once again, Marty's skateboard. So now, we're going to do a time lapse of how to build the second car. Ready? Alright, here we go. <gasps> okay. Okay, so, see if the clear is at the bottom, they it actually looks like it is flying. So yeah, you turn the wheels upside down, and you have to admit, it doesn't look that bad. As you may have saw, these broke off during the process. Sorry, you can't see that. These broke off during the process. They will come out once in a while. But the Mr. Clean in the back, I don't know why I'm saying Mr. Clean. That's the bald guy that looks like Charles Xavier from X-Men who can walk. Um, It's pretty much... Is that leading? Oh, to me it looks like it's leaning. Anyway... It looks like the DeLorean from the second movie. Now this is going to get hard. We have to build the one from the third movie. Wish me luck. <gasps> As you may have saw in the video, these and the doors actually do pop up more often than I think. But, wait. Wait a minute, something's not right. What's not right? Uh oh. <gasps> Someone stole the Mr. White Cleaner. Hello? 911? Someone stole my Lego bag in the future, please! <laughs> What's that? Oh, remain calm. I can't remain calm. Someone stole it! <laughs> Look at my back pocket. Why would it. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Okay, apparently I had it all along. Just kidding, it fell under my desk. But to the car, it has this brand new engine bit that I was explaining earlier. That's really annoying to put on. Actually, no, that's probably easiest. It has the red wheels, which makes it look really cool. And the new license plate. I've got to put that on during, too. I kind of rushed during this part because I actually have to go. So, bye, guys. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe.